an honorable name, Medal of Honor recipient First Lieutenant, Lorenzo Dow ML. A brief article written by Randall A. Byrd, Jr. Because it is my name. Because I cannot have another in my life, how may I live without my name? I have given you my soul, leave me my name. John Proctor from Arthur Miller's The Crucible When perusing the list of venerated Medal of Honor recipients buried in Missouri or attached to Missouri regiments, one name stood out, not just due to its relative uniqueness, but also its personal familiarity. Lorenzo Dow Amell was a first lieutenant in Company F of the 2nd U.S. Artillery. His bravery in action as a corporal at the Battle of Wilson's Creek on August 10, 1861, not only helped him acquire an officer's commission, but earned him the Medal of Honor. But it was actually his first two names which beckoned this author to engage in further research. Lorenzo Dow Amell Lorenzo Dow Amell was born on June 18, 1837, in Ross County, Ohio, to Jacob Amell, Sr. and Mary Ann Seibrill. His family eventually migrated to Franklin County, Missouri, the state where he died on October 31, 1912, and was buried in Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. Three counties away from Franklin County in Pulaski County, Missouri, my ancestor, Lorenzo Dow Wall, 1832-1875, lived out his short life, including service as a private in Company E of the Osage County Home Guards. While Lorenzo isn't a terribly common name, Dow is even less so, and the combination of names Lorenzo and Dow for two separate men seems an improbable coincidence. But that combination is not limited to these two men born in 1830s. A cursory Google search reveals a plethora of males born in the first half of the 19th century who share these two names. As the diversity of geography and circumstance suggest, this was not a favorite uncle or a common ancestor. So, who was this Lorenzo Dow? Reverend Lorenzo Dow Reverend Lorenzo Dow happened to be a prolific and well-traveled clergyman, spreading what is primarily regarded as the doctrine of the Methodist Church and specifically preaching against the religions of atheism, deism, Calvinism, and universalism. He was a much-loved, much-revered, eccentric man, not without enemies, but demonstrably popular enough to inspire a multitude of parents in multiple generations to name their children in his honor. What does this tell us about Lorenzo Dow Amell, Lorenzo Dow Wall, or any of the many other namesakes of this man? In reality, names often say more about the parents and what they valued than about those who hold them, and even then, names were not always given the amount of thought one would like to attribute to them it would be reasonably safe to assume parents who bestowed upon their sons the name Lorenzo Dow were God-fearing Christians, which were not all that uncommon for the time period. A New Connotation It is less breakthrough revelation and more satisfying curiosity that the name Lorenzo Dow can be traced back to a celebrity of the time period. Dow's successful ministry has garnered him the hollow immortality on earth that comes with some degree of name recognition almost two centuries after death. As for instilling their borrowed name with individual meaning, First Lieutenant Lorenzo Dow Amell successfully associated the name with conspicuously heroic bravery, and both he and Lorenzo Dow Wall have forever tied it to patriotic service to the Union cause. Versions of this article were published in the Missouri Unionist, newsletter of the Department of Missouri, Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, and on my website at theedgeofmemory.com. If you would like to honor your Union ancestors by joining the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, or any of our allied orders, I will help document your lineage and an ancestor service free of charge and guide you through the simple process of joining the nearest camp or tent in your area. Email me at r a b u r d j r at gmail.com.